Good morning traders, Richard Jadu in quick Ichimoku cloud chart review of the S&P 500 index. We'll start with the monthly which shows how extended the market is from the top end of the cloud. We look at the price distance between where we are now and the top end of the cloud, that vertical distance. When it gets too extended, the market tends to pull back, extended, pull back, extended, pull back, extended, pull back. Now, uh, you can see uh, the 2009 uh, correction looks quite small and the 99 correction also looked quite small to where we are now. So there's significant downside risk in the market. Uh, we can even see the f first Key support level is 39.19 on the on the front end of the cloud, so that's a significant downside risk in the market. But this is from a really big picture view of the market, um, looking at the monthly, very extended from the top end of the cloud. Let's turn to the weekly; gives a bit more idea what's going on. Now the market's now just pulled back and it's testing the uh, turning line of the cloud. That's a key level, as well as the front end of the cloud. Yeah, we can see that 4, 485 is a, another level that the market can test on an intraday basis. So it will be interesting to see if we're going to see that level retested. I can put a line in there if you give me a second. Let's put our horizontal line in there. So that's the front end of the cloud is a key level. And then the other level to watch out for is the standard line of the cloud. That's also a key support level. So there's a cluster of support on the weekly between 448 and uh, 4458. So there's uh, that's the downside risk on the weekly for the market. But it is currently testing the turning line of the cloud. So we could see a short-term bounce from that level. But these are the levels to watch out for a potential rebound. If these levels fail, support fails at these levels, then we're heading towards the next level, 30, uh, 40, uh, 367, which is a top-end cloud chart support level. And then this level here, which is this bottom low here of 4308, which is also a cloud chart level as well as a standard line support zone. So that's the picture on the daily consolidation taking place towards the front end cloud chart support level as well as the standard line of the cloud. So that's the downside risk on the on the weekly. Turning to the daily, we can see now the front end of the cloud, yeah, that uh, 4,500 market rebounded from there on Friday. So it'll be interesting to see if we're going to get a follow through or a retest of that level this week. But there's a cluster of support between this 4,511, this front end cloud chart level, and then this 4,499, 4,500. Basically, that's a key key level to watch out for on the um, on the cloud. So that's the cloud chart front end cloud chart support level. We did get a rebound from that level. It'll be interesting to see if we're going to get a continued rebound this week from that level. As long as the market stays above the bottom in the cloud, yeah, the rally is okay. But any price action below the cloud, yeah, similar to this, will change the outlook from bullish to bearish. And then we need to wait for another cloud cross buy signal there. But there's the these are the downside risk levels to watch out for. These two come off the weekly. That's the daily as well as these old highs. Yeah, uh, 4485 is also a key level to watch out for for potential swing trade if the market tests that this coming week. But things are not looking too good. Uh, we had a MACD sell up here, and then we soon get the uh, cloud chart sell there. So uh, we are trading contrarian trades now, buying these swing trades. Uh, let's go and take a look at the four hour chart. Gives a bit more idea what's happening intraday. Testing the front end cloud chart for support there. You can see they managed to rebound from this old cloud chart level there. We can see that one comes off the daily. It's also a four hour cloud chart, bottom end cloud chart support level. But we closed above the bottom in the cloud. So the outlook is about to change. If price action keeps trading below the bottom in the cloud, yeah, then the outlook changes to bearish on the on the four hour chart. But so far, so good Friday. It did manage to regain support there. Uh, back up at the bottom in the cloud. So ideally, we'd like to see a follow through of this move, a rebound from this bottom in cloud chart level. And then the upside resistance would be this, this uh, turning line and the standard line of the cloud, as well as the top end of the cloud. These would be the upside, uh, potential upside targets, as well as the old high there, that old front end cloud chart level. But we do need to see a follow through of this rebound from the bottom in the cloud on the four hour chart to be very bullish on swing trading this move back up to the uh, key cloud chart resistance level. If we dip back below the cloud, the outlook will stay as the outlook will change to bearish again. 
since price action will then be below the cloud and then we've got these downside risk targets to deal with as well as an extreme downside risk target here at 4427 and then this cloud chart level there uh, 4412 so these are the downside risk targets on the four hour chart but we do need to see that follow through of this potential rebound back up to the bottom in the cloud we are closed we closed above there on friday it will be interesting to see if we're going to get a follow through of this move higher and a rebound from this bottom in cloud chart uh, support level but so far the market's not out the woods yet we are testing key cloud chart support levels both the front in the cloud there is some downside risk on the daily to dip in we within these three uh, support levels. So there is downside risk to that. But so far, the four hour chart gives us a little bit more comfort to see maybe we'll get a uh, swing trade opportunity back up from the rebound from the key cloud chart support levels. Until next time, happy cloud chart trading. Bye for now.